I am suffering from. Okay, how exactly this disease has entered to my body? Okay, so who and all, if I get this disease, any of the family members will suffer from disease or not? This also the questions may be asked by your physician. And the family other question also. At excision, you should understand that the same question what the patient has asked you is is by the physician. Okay. So first of all, when patient exhibits its symptoms, when the patient tells about the present comments, you should exactly understand what is disease, what is this disease, how can I land to the differential diagnosis? There is nothing but sa patient either. Now, how can I go with the provisional diagnosis and how can I go with the diagnosis? There are not many questions which comes to you as an Ayurvedic physician. Okay. And your important job is before writing the prescription to the disease, what I have told you, you have to diagnose what exactly is the disease. Okay. What exactly is the symptomatic attack of this disease? And you quickly explain to the patient. You should educate the patient what exactly the disease is and how long the treatment should be continued. Why exactly the patient has got this disease? You got part? So these are the questions to be answered by an Ayurvedic physician if the patient comes to you with these many questions. It is our utmost duty, isn't it? So this is why arthritis, pericard, pressure, manam, isn't it? So these are the aims of Ayurveda. Our Ayurveda teachings on the principles of Swatha Veda that is Ahara, Nidra, Macharya, Macharya, Dhinacharya, it works as a fine. So let me come to the my presentation today. Flow kinds of my education be introducing Padda, Rumachad Arthritis, Chicken Song, some research updates, summary, and the references. Fine. Coming to the introduction, what exactly is Amavada? So the day there are two threads over here, ah and Gopar. So it's a physical situation. I'm trying to find that one. I have a little bit of a It that if we go to the end of the time, if the patient is appealing, he goes from this bill, if the patient is from the bill, if that person is a breadwinner of the family, and if he not lose group work, if he is put on this disorder, what that do the patient and his family will stay on that patient will what my so physically this happens to the patient. So as a patient, we should try our best to treat this with Amvata in Chikisa aspect, which is explain our Ayurvedic classics. So coming Amavata, we explain what I am fit for an independent life. As you know that Amavata is formed by the two words, this formation of Ama and the visitation of the Vata. And as speaking about the perspective of Ama, you all know that you all, you the students, all know what exists Ama, isn't it? A beautiful quotation goes like this. Ama Annarasam Kechit Kechit Malasam Prathamam Doshidusti Cha Kechit Ama Prachakshate. What exactly this means? It is nothing but a patwa anarasa. It is nothing but ama. Okay. So while sometimes that the accumulated mala is also called as ama. So that stage of visitation of the doshas is called to be ama. This aspect students you should know. Okay. And one more one more beautiful quotation of ama goes like this. Avipattam asanyuttam dhurkardam bahu pichilam. Then uh, the quotation goes like this Sadhanam Sarva Gadranam Amam Ekeri Kiyate. That is the substance which, which is uh, uh, undigested, you can call it as a disintegrator, you can call it the foul smelling, and uh, so on. Sly nature really it causes the stiffness of the body, is termed as Ama. Okay, so one more definition goes like this Chataranalam, Morbalyam, Abhipakvas. Yorasaha, Sir Ama Sanyakodehi, Sarva Dosha Prakopanaha. This is a beautiful quotation, isn't it? What exactly it is? That is, the Adya Dhatu remains undigested due to the poor strength of the Chataradhi and it has a tendency to V shape the other 
bodily elements it is called as it is called as ama and uh, uh, there is a formation of ama and also there is a vesication of vata it takes place simultaneously and affects the tamas think about the treatment aspect of this ama and vata isn't it both are quite different right so this aspect as an ayurvedic physician you should understand we also know that this is one among the madhyam rupa marga so the description of this ama vata in charaka samhita is it there is it there yes very exactly recited so the detailed description of this ama pradosha that is uh, that in uh, that in uh, involves the agni uh, ama dosha then uh, 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 and uh, ajirna and grahani and all okay so in the context of shwayatu the uh, treatment the medications which is uh, you, uh, given in uh, that is of uh, kamsa harita isn't it it is said uh, it was having a very effective in case of amavata this is a description which is given by charaka samhita and one more deficient definition is uh, a way to vishala the font as it had you remember this vishala the so which is in the under the is to be to case of amavata so there are lot many a lot many falashrutis of the amavata and uh, coming to that of the, the samhita the context stop akinsha ji visited aka is mentioned so in nibandha sangraha the this uh, the it the uh, description which is related to that of uh, uh, as well as uh, to that of uh, what you tell apata and sa amavata in form to is for is explained in the context of apata pana chikitsa jwara is it so the amavata there is a formation of ama there is a vesication of vata it takes place simultaneously and it affects the sandhis which is one of the which is one of this isn't it so it is one among the madhyama roga marga so next uh, next slide is fine what exactly is rheumatoid arthritis okay so when there is the word of rheumatoid arthritis there is a suffix and the root over here okay do you remember do you know that uh, uh, suffix and the root Right, present. There is affix and root. Okay, so the rheumatoid is nothing but flow of current. Okay, rheumatoid is nothing but flow of current. All is nothing but resembling. So rheumatoid arthritis is nothing but rheumatoid is a nothing but discharge from the joints. And arthro means uh, joints. Okay, so it means that arthritis. You can quote that it is the inflammation of arteries. It is inflammation of the joints. so uh, rheumatoid arthritis is nothing but a chronic progressive disease which is characterized by inflammation of the affected joints which results in painful deformity and inability especially in the fingers wrist feet and ankles do you remember any patient is suffering from rheumatoid arthritis why i am going correlate amavata to rheumatoid arthritis is because the symptoms can be correlated to of motor arthritis may it might be a uh, uh, pain and swelling in the joints may it might be the morning stiffness okay in case of motor arthritis there are many criteria to be understood what is right i'm going to explain in my coming step might be if i there a problem with the matrix deformities in case of motor arthritis okay fine the prevalence of this the motor arthritis is the prevalence of least to one ratio that is more females are getting affected than males fine so what exactly is nidana so very interesting is nidana is it what exactly is the nidana of this viru ahara cheshtasya mandagni anilasya cha stiddam uktavato annam vyayayam purvatasthata this is a beautiful quotation of nidana of this amavata viru ahara mandagni alas so this exactly what i wanted to Uh, tell you in my previous slide when I uh, explained you about this, what exactly is this, how, what, and uh, when. So these are all the aspects you should remember. What exactly the patient had told you before. Also, okay, fine. Coming to the etiology of ah, uh, etiology of ama, apatha. It is divided into ahara, ja, vihara, ja, and manasa. So when you speak about this ahara, ja, it is nothing but intermediate by combination of food. It might be that of the combination of viru da ahara, like milk and fish and all. Okay, in which state of agni that leads to uh, that leads to ama vata, where I have given you the beautiful quotation of ama. Heavy means in the state of ama and agni, and anxious food along with exertion. When I speak about vihara ja, uh, beautifully there is explanation by Madhuri Dana that is vyayama soon after consuming stiddha ahara. 
Why exactly? Um, there will be inactivity causes, isn't it? Uh, and uh, these are all the causes which leads to achirna. Okay, so manasika causes, isn't it? Manasika, that is emotions. Okay, if uh, you are in a stress or a very sad mood and you're any nutritious or delicious food is kept in front of you, will not digest, right? Fine. Okay. This is a Nidana and Samprapti. Viruda Ahara Chestrasi Mandatukni Lassicha Stinta Muktavatu Andam Vyayayam Kumatastata Vayuna Prerito Amaha Shleshma Sthanam Pradavati Ena Atyarta Vidandasa Ramanihi Pratipadhyati So beautiful quotation it is called that Shleshma Sthanam Pradavati What exactly is this Shleshma Sthana? It is nothing but a Kapha, it is nothing but Kapha Sana. Where well, Sunday is also, isn't it? Sundays are also take fine. So, before uh, coming to the as aspects of this uh, uh, this one, uh, yeah, Samkrafti. So, why I have put the Samkrafti slide? Because before you before you come to the uh, detailed aspect of the disease, if we call that Samkrafti, Samkrafti correct of this is very important because Samkrafti Vikhatana is also one among the treatment aspects, isn't it? So, first of all, you should know what exactly the Kataka's of this. So, what is this? What are predominant three doshas? What exactly is this? this? What are what are predominant three doshas? So, when I speak about the doshas here, uh, visitation of the vata, that is a uh, uh, generation of ama in the costa and in the circulation of the whole body is the initial pathology of this disease. So, that is the circulation of the ama in the whole body and, and its localized location in that of the kapha stana, kapha dosha, that is uh, locations of kapha dosha is the activity of vitiated vata dosha that is interaction of the doshas within the joints with the localized ama and vata is the secondary pathology of this ama vata so this all the three doshas gets involved in this ama vata among this vata is predominant dosha and the two doshas pitta and kapha are the associated one so the symptoms of ama vata you know isn't it what are the symptoms you have i think you have seen a n number of patients they are body ache, joint pain, excess urination, uh, abdominal uh, uh, pain, disturbed uh, sleep and all. Okay, gurgling sound and all. So these are nothing but the involvement of involvement of the doshas. So when I speak about the symptoms of uh, pitta dosha, uh, this is there will be thirst among the patient and febrile illness. You see, a patient is suffering from amavata, there will be fever illness, there will be infection type of fever in the patient suffering from this. And he tells that there is a burning around the joints, there is a, there is some uh, uh, redness around the joints. Okay. So while the symptoms of kapha dosha, what exactly will be the symptoms of kapha dosha? There will be abnormal taste in the mouth, there will be heaviness in the body, uh, there will be joint swelling and uh, feeling of uh, body parts as it is uh, covered with that of the wet cloth, itching etc. are the importance of abnormal kapha dosha. Fine? Okay. Let me speak about this dhatu. Let me give importance of this dhatu. What exactly is dhatu? Rasa, mamsa, asti, majja. Why exactly it is? That is the predominant involvement of asti, uh, rasa, mamsa, asti, majja dhatu are the characteristics of amavata. That is afflictions of rasa, rasa dhatu is indicated by several symptoms like uh, tastelessness, uh, body ache and all, isn't it? The lack of enthusiasm, heaviness in the body and when not that of asti dhatu, there will be uh, swelling in the, uh, yeah, swelling and pain in that of the joints. When the V-shaped uh, when the V-shaped dosha, which is residing in the asti dhatu, tends to de 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 degenerate the bone, degenerate the bone, increasing the porosis. What happens? Then later, there will, there will be Process. Okay, so this is nothing but the depletion of Majja Dhatu. Fine, hope you got this, isn't it? So, pain and swelling, or uh, with the patient which tells about the pain and swelling in the PIT joints, it is nothing but involvement of Majja Dhatu. So, in the long run, what I want to tell you that there is a definite involvement of Mamsa Dhatu also. Muscle waste is related to the affected joint, the suggestion of the depletion of Mamsa Dhatu. So, the emaciation that occurs in chronic phase is a constant indicator of. Why exactly is Nayu? Why exactly is different? So, Snayu means uh, joint is a major location of this Kapha dosha, isn't it? It is a major organ affected in the Amavata. Snayu is the anchoring structures which stabilize the bone joint, isn't it? 
Do you remember the uh, do you remember the structure of the bone joint, especially the sign of the joint? So snayu and the anchoring structures are stabilizing the bony joints. So these snayu may be affected in case of amavata and it might lead to the dislocation to the joints and different deformities of the joints. Coming to that of uh, malas, it is Mutra, Purusha and Sveda. Why exactly Mutra, Purusha, Sveda is mentioned over here? See, with the fibril illness, which is produced, uh, which is present in case of Amavata, isn't it? It is usually associated with that of lack of sweating, which is indicative of the involvement of Sveda. So, Kostagata Ama may present with the symptoms of Vibhanda and it is suggestive to the involvement of Purusha. So, in the advanced state of this illness, excessive urination, that is Bahu Mutrita, is one of the symptoms which is present, okay. And it is a pathognomic of the abnormality of urine in patients who are suffering from um, the coming to Manas in Indriya, isn't it? Manas. So, in the stage of Pravrita Amamata, the patient may suffer from various symptoms, isn't it? Like, uh, he will have the variations in the sleep habit, he might have mood cha, he might have dizziness. So these are all the involvement of Manas as well as Indriya. When I speak about Shrota students, listen. There is Annavaha, Rasavaha, Asti, Majja, Udaka, Purusha and Mutra. Why exactly these uh, these Shrotas have been explained? So this importance of the Shrotas uh, in general, okay, all the Shrotas are related to Dhatus. Okay, which is involved in the disease and it is considered as the Shrotas. So, so also in Amavata. These all the shrotas are being affected. So the symptoms suggesting involvement of annavaha shrotas, that is tasteless mouth, abnormal taste in the mouth, impact appetite and all. So in case of rasavaha shrotas, the patient suggesting uh, that of uh, and same symptoms. And in case of purishavaha shrotas also, there is the symptoms like uh, abdominal pain, gurgling sound and all. So excessive, uh, excessive uh, sweating, what I told is that it occurs with the febrile illness in the patients uh, uh, in pathognomy which is in, uh, involvement of uh, yes sweta uh -huh, so, so so during the advanced day the patient may suffer from excessive urination that is resemblance of mutravas shrotas symptoms like body ache tastelessness in the mouth abnormal taste in the mouth subjective symptoms of heaviness in the mouth are all involvement of rasavas shrotas so emaciation in the long run that is nothing but when you see the patient there will be atrophy of the joint muscle and it is nothing but the involvement of mamsavaha shrotas so pain in the joints excluding the interphalangeal okay the including the interphalangeal joints interphalangeal joints is it PIP. that is it represents the affection of astivaha and also the majjaka shrotas so excessive thirst also may be seen in the patient who is suffering in the patient of amavata points towards the involvement of udakaha shrotas coming to that of shroto dushti what exactly is the shroto dushti is sangha atipravrata nimarka kamarabai sangha is a major form of shroto dushti in amavata that is joints in the body are meant for mobility okay. what happens in a case when suffering from uh, uh, in a patient is suffering from amavata there is the reduction in the uh, joint movement okay and it is suggestive of nothing but it is suggestive of the involvement of okay so sangha so the digestion is the activity of annavaha shrotas isn't it so there will be impaired appetite there will be uh, not, uh, impaired digestion also so it is the uh, indicate the sangha of annavaha shrotas so on the other hand ingestion of the food is the activity of the annavaha shrotas and expelling the food in the form of chardi in amavata is indicative of vimarga gamana so the proper evacuation of the bubble is the normal functions of Vishabha Shrutas and the symptoms of Vipanda is Atavnam of Sanyudha. So excessive frequent urination that may be seen in advanced stage of Mahabhata represents the students hope you have understood this fine. Let me speak about Agni. Why exactly Agni? I have written in this letter Agni. Why? Because impairment of the Agni leading the generation of Ama that gets distributed in the body as a unique pathogenesis of Amavata. That's what I have explained you the definition of Ama in my previous slides. So this implies the invariable involvement of Ataragni in the video pathogenesis of Amavata. When I speak about this Ama, I have involved this Sharira Gata and Kosta Gata. Why? So, the morbid state of Ama is a senior feature of Amavata. So, both Kosta Gata as well as Sharira Gata Ama states are known in case of Amavata. That is, there might be taste in mouth, abnormal taste in the mouth, impaired appetite, and all. 
omitting constitution or 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 suggestion of Kosovo Vata. In contrast to this, progressive involvement of joint Spain and swelling is the suggestion of Shalira Gatama. So more to add, the worsening symptoms of during night as isn't it? During night as worsening symptoms symptoms that is a Dakshina Samavat, isn't it? When the time of sunrise, cloudy weather, and uh, application of uh, oil is indicated, Samavat, that is, you see the patients who comes to you the, with the suffering of this Samavat, they will give you a beautiful example. When this cloudy region, I, I when there is a cloudy season in my place, in my region, I have a lot of pain. I cannot wake up, I cannot do my work. These are the uh, specific. Uh, Presentations what the patients will tell you. You have to note down this, isn't it? Okay, fine. Coming to that Udhavastana. What is Udhavastana? There is nothing but Amarasha and Pakvasha. Why I have written this here? Because Vata dosha is a predominant dosha which is involved in the pathogenesis of Amavata. So the Ama, the second morbidity of Amavata, represents really the Kapha dosha. Okay. According to the combination of Amarasha and Pakvasha is the Udhavastana of Amavata. Coming to that of Sancharasthana, Sancharasthana is Sarva Sharira. Why it is like that? Because the symptoms related to the joints predominates the clinical uh, manifestations of Amavata. Even then the patient suffers from some um, symptoms, constitutional symptoms like uh, body ache, uh, fatigue, laziness, heaviness, debility and all, fibrilliness. The constitutional symptoms come from the whole body and you can understand there is a Sanchara of this dosha. Fine. So, where was that? Okay, fine. Next, coming to that of uh, Sandhi. Sandhi is it? It is Tanik Sandhi because actually there will be stiffness in the joint and it will be in the of Amavata. So, the way plus wet the stun of Amavata. So, when you come to that of Roga Marga, I have explained you about Madhyama and Abhyantara. Why exactly like this? When I speak about Madhyama and Abhyantara Roga Marga, Symptoms of uh, Amavata are predominantly related to the Akhantara as well as Madhyam Roga It is, there will be tasteless in the mouth, water drink in the mouth, omitting impaired uh, appetite, abnormal pain and all. And also on the other hand, the joint pain will be there, swelling will be there. And more, uh, moreover, what I want to tell that, uh, Vyadi Swabhav is nothing but uh, it is chronic lingering type, isn't it? That is nothing but Akhari, that is uh, There will be involvement of uh, there will be involvement of doshas and the doshas which is belonging to the same category that is vata dosha as well as asti dosha confirms the chronic nature of the illness. Fine. So this is my next slide. What exactly you can find this? Okay. So this is very important. Just see the structure of this. This is the uh, normal, uh, this is a healthy joint over here and this is the changes what exactly you can find. Okay. So, uh, you should understand the very important thing of this thing. Rheumatoid arthritis is nothing but it is characterized by affection of the synovial joints, okay, synovial tissue as well as underlying uh, cartilage and bone. So, synovial inflammation and proliferation. So, there will be focal uh, uh, bone erosion, there will be thinning of the articular cartilage and uh, there will be also, these are all the hallmarks of this disease, okay. So, there will be chronic synovial inflammation that is nothing but synovitis which is the uh, immunological mediated results in synovial hypoplasia and also there will be the formation of uh, panis. What exactly is panis? Panis is nothing but a thickened, what is panis? Panis is nothing but a thickened cellular membrane which is surrounded, which is secondary to that of synovitis. So, this panis invades the underlying cartilage and the bone. So, the damage to this bone is twofold and are recognized as bony erosions and discopenia. The osteoclast uh, mediates the structural damage to the mineralized cartilage as well as the subchondral bone. So, this uh, uh, structural damage, what happens to is we do at the occurs at the sides with the synovial membrane inserts into the periosteal surface. Okay. So, this much you should understand about this changes in the bone. What? What? What does this? So, at this moment, I need to tell you that. So, the initiated Vata dosha mobilizes the Ama in the whole body and then it localizes in the joints. That you should understand. So, the interaction of the local dosha of the joints and the V-shaped Vata dosha and the Ama 
produces symptoms around the joints along with a few constitutional symptoms. So among these symptoms which is related to the joints are considered as a cardinal symptom. That is, symptoms also depends on the chronicity of the disease. According to the symptoms, there is Saman and uh, Prabhrita Amavata which is explained by that of uh, other Fine. So, the uh, Lakshanas are broadly classified into three categories. You can go to the Lakshanas which is specific to the involvement of Sandhi and the Lakshanas which is specific to the involvement of Ama and the Lakshanas produced in the sequence of the disease process. Hope you have understood this. Okay. So, let me come to this uh, what exactly is this? We Sandhi Praveshiko, Stabdam Chakuruko, Tarvin, Amavatam, Subject, isn't it? Presentation of the section where what happened? It is put by the patient. It is told by the patient. So, you are by the patient. The symptom is really starts in the shop at the back of the so, if the illness in the Samanya Amavata state is not affecting treated or else the response of truth is inadequate. And in the public course, if the patient passes, if the in this only state, the population goes to that of the Amavata state. So this state is called Bahu Dosha Avastha, and hence it is very difficult to cure. So symptoms of uh, this, or uh, this slide explains you have the symptoms of Prabhada Amavata Lakshana. That is, there will be involvement of multiple joint pain. That's what I have told you in my first slide when I start. In my presentation, I have given an example of uh, a patient who comes to me, uh, comes to us. So this is a perfect case. What is uh, what of Amavata? Uh, the patient has come to us with the disease. In, uh, there is the involvement of multiple joint pain and swelling of the joint. It is related to the hands and legs and the uh, ankles, head, uh, knee, low back. So the pain in the joint is very very severe and it may uh, mimics a thing which is caused. Beautiful thing is given as a fine. Okay, so these are all the deformities you can find in the patient who is suffering from this uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so you see this uh, chain, you see this changes over here. See what happens is that during the early the pattern of the joint involvement may be monoarticular in the promoted arthritis. It might be oligoarticular, it might be involved four joints, but only it might involve more than five joints. The distribution of the joint, which is involvement and asymmetrical, and asymmetrical in the onset is asymmetrical as the disease progresses. So, in little number of cases, the onset may be palindromic. So, illness which is occurs in a two Concepts. This is a motoid aneurysm. This is an deviation. And have got a lot of many deformities. It is nothing but beautifully, you can see a patient who is suffering from the patient is not sensitive. If this, this. Does this may be and how take a patient who is a breadwinner of the family? Okay, breadwinner of the family will, uh, will continue his life, isn't it? So, there may are many lot of uh, presentations. Okay, fine. So, Sadhya Sadhya is Amavata is correct. Simitam Guru Kandu, Chaka Fadishpam, Samadhi Shetse, or Sadia Sadis, Dosha, Eka Dosha Nodaha Sadia, Dosha Yaki, Uchari, Sarva Deha Chara Shotas, the Pritis and Nipatika. That is, Amavati, which is caused by freedom and restriction of Lee, one which is terrible, the Trapudo is here, and is of three Dosha, Pradhan, and the patients are suffering from Pradhan, the Amavati. 
Coming to that Amavata Chikitsa, what exactly is Amavata Chikitsa? See, very important aspect of Amavata Chikitsa is Ama and Mata, the two components in the pathogenesis of Amavata. So, what exactly is Amavata is best treated with unanxious patients? Students, listen. Amavata is best treated with unanxious patients. But in case of Mata Dosha, what happens here? Mata Dosha gets elevated by anxious treatment. So, the two major components is contradictory, isn't it? They are contradictory, causing difficulty in planning the treatment, isn't it? It is very difficult to plan the treatment in case of Amavata. You should understand what exactly is Amavata over here. Okay. There are a lot many classifications in Amavata. There is Vata Nuga, Pitta Nuga, Kapha Nuga, Vata Pitta Nuga, and uh, Pitta Kapha and uh, Kapha Vata. And also there is, uh, yeah, there is Sanipata also. And uh, according to the, the different areas, it's Amavata, you get the Speaking about this Ama Chikitsa. What exactly is Amavata Chikitsa? So the two major components is contraindicatory, causing causing to difficulty in planning the treatment. This you should understand it is from Amavata. Okay. So what I want to tell is intervention of my treatment of the treatment of Amavata is from the dietary lifestyle. It is Nidana Parivarjana and that is uh, so in general simultaneous administration of Antha Parivarjana that is internal medication as well as Vidhi Parivarjana that is external medication are conveniently adopted in the management of Amavata. So administration of Langana, Deepana, Virajana, Steepana and Vasti forms the Antha Parivarjana Chikitsa along with the internal medication and the patient should be treated. Luxious way though. Uh -huh. so, okay. so, this is nothing but so the balance that will the Tirza Ama and Pesipesa Dusha is affecting in planning the prescription for the treatment of Ama Vata. So, what is the treatment over here? Langanam Swedanam Pitam Deepana Nikatuni Chavire Chanam Stilapanam Vastish the Ama Marutei. So, in the Vadi Adua system, Shara Vasti precious set, isn't it? The drug that reverses or breaks the Samprapti is suitable and gift. That's what I explain to the Samprapti that I can indicate. Fine? Okay, fine. What are the treatment modalities? The treatment modalities for Amavata are listed here. It is listed uh, according to the chakra that the Anganam Sveda is the difference. Krishna Svedishan and Vasati, Nishapan and Stephana. Again, Amka Parimarjana Chikis is different to Langana, Deepana, Vilichana, Stephana and Vasti and Vahi Parimarjana Chikis is nothing but Ruchi Sveda and Panna. So, when uh, students, you just remember this CEA, that is clearance of the Ama, elimination of the excessively initiated dosha and elimination of the morbidity of patients and others. This is nothing but the internal medication. So internal medication will go for Amapachana, Shodhana, Shamhana, Brahmana and Rasayana. These are nothing but the internal medication. What is this Amapachana? Langana Chikitsa. Where exactly the Langana Chikitsa is controlled? Even the water types of Langana Chikitsa is given. You should select what type of Langana Chikitsa. When you put the Langana Chikitsa, you know that. It is nothing but Amapachana. Okay. So, among the 10 forms of Langana, you should only select Anashana or Laguashana receptor, not all the 10, ten Langanas. Okay. So, Anashana or uh, Laguashana are receptor as Langana Chikitsa. Okay. So, these two procedures are uh, operated in accordance with the physical and as that. So, since Amma in a physically wrong patient is best to control the moderate formulation of Amma in a physical that is appearance of uh, appetite, hair evaluation of the bowel and bladder and the functional symptoms of Amavata are indicated of very effect. That prolonged as well as the initial the initial of the and hence it should be avoided. So let's come to that of uh, this is the this water from Mandana, Vashana, Anagan, it is appear and the evacuation of water and death. So long period of Mandana may be late to them as well as for the decision of other people. Coming to that of the Kanuka and Kapil is given out there. So having the what can we do here? Then you can give the oral medication of the folks who is supposed to speak to us and to us. That is, in the call of Kanta, we can be orally administered in a dose of 96 ml for about another 7 days. All drugs are possessed, like Guruji, that is, the team of the team of the 
but we are used to the same purpose. I think the light that is untaken. Okay, fine. Okay. And it's with the pattern and you just remember how to fix it at the address to go. So the difference we can is followed by pattern and check it up. It is the achievement of the normal learning on the stage. Okay. So the clearing of the comma in the actual process of the next steps of show than a procedure. So this will facilitate the additions of the symptoms. So the overall special relation is with the partner comma is project. ಪ್ರಸೆಂಟ್ <laughs> Initially, the post-gat comma stage is rendered in the comma stage. The shari that comma is here by Shodhana Chikitsa. That is, Langana Kapartana, you can know that it clears the post-gat comma stage. And this is followed by Snehana Virechan and Vasti. That is nothing but performs the elimination of shari that comma. Coming to that of Yatha Krama Shodhana. What is this Yatha Krama Shodhana? This is a methodical elimination. This comma vata is an illness affecting the Madhama Roga Marga. ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಂಡಿಕ್ಕೆ also the these process with creation of drugs like through this is the operculinary tetanum is referred as the most the need to manage the practice five is it the daily in the sense of organic or creation of drugs and this is one of the phd work which i have this is directed and the doctor is in this picture as zero in of uh ಶರೀರೇಷನ್ <laughs> coming to the topic of the patient what exactly is the relation of the if the patient is physically weak and the accumulation of blood having then alternate to the yatha karma shodhana and then and the regular relaxation focus in the nodes of 20 well being and the increase on the morning the morning and the sleep time for about 7 minutes depending upon the requirement coming to the rest what exactly is rest shodhana as well as shamana effect may be achieved by the needle cover first thing If the patient is acting for Viracharya Dhanva, Shodhana is then planned by Vasti. It is all this accumulation of dosha that are going to be inactivated by the Viracharya uh, uh, Karma. It is aided by that Vasti. It is also the constipation, uh, the constipation, it is for constipation with heart, stools and bone. 
uh, it develops for a Milletana Karma, then the Shodhana Vaitabhasti is preferred. That is, Shmara Vasti by adopting the course of yoga is ideal. That is, Sainthavadi, Taila, Pratarini, Taila, Dashamuladi, Taila, Shmara Vasti by adopting the course of yoga Vasti is ideal. Yoga Vasti consisting of three cities of yoga Vasti is ideal. Half that of Punaha Shodhana. What example is Punaha Shodhana? That is, from a hindering nature, the characteristics of Amavata. Okay. So, partly uh, remission is used to absorb any patients or remission. So, he has been to exert the best motion to any if you are a person. That is not the next week. That is it is planned by you the initiated Vata Dosha. So, this is best planned after the effect clearance of Ama by the earlier treatment of Kana, Bhikana, Pajana, Shudana, first Nehapara, one can prescribe the Grahat Sindhavadi Teva or Guru. This is nothing but the uh, Snehapana in the form of Shamana is uh, okay. This is nothing but the palliative internal oriation. Next. Coming to that of Brahmana Chikisa. Why Brahmana Chikisa is given? Okay, it is nothing but the nourishing measures. So Amavata is a chronic debilitating illness. Okay. If the depletion there you see the you can see the depletion of the data, so the patient is suffering from this chronic illness for more than twelve years ago. So the depletion of data is a usual complication that occurs in long run. So many Patients' formations belonging to the category low and Mandura is a different So, even if it's a different so this is purely managed by from the nourishes So, what exactly is Rasayan? Is it Rasayan is nothing but a regimen chronic and lingering illness that runs along the sisters, best treated by Yadi Hara Rasayan. Okay. So, the Rasayan that are indicated in Lama Vata includes Guruji Rasayan, Kodi Rasayan, and other more Rasayan as well. So, Rasayan also can be. Yes. Okay. Coming to that of uh, this is one of the uh, procedure of Mukta Sveda, how exactly one of the Sveda can be prepared. Okay. It is according to Yoga Aratnakara, that is Neha Vivarjana, that is Mukta Sveda in the path of Yoga, Maruka Kutala Sveda, and ask that this is Neha Vivarjana. This is beautiful, it is explained by Yoga Aratnakara. Now coming to Patya, Patya is very important students, okay? When a patient comes to you, you will definitely ask you about Patya. What should be taken, what should not should be taken, because Patya and Patya and Patya and Yadik Chota Bhanasa Pila, that is, which is with which you have to take care that the patient follows Patya in case of Amavata. Because if the patient is suffering from Amavata, if he, if you have continued the treatment and the patient goes home, if he is on this uh, Apatya, you have to educate the patient before patient is discharged from hospital or if it is an OPD basis also, you have to explain what exactly what they can be given. So the food and drink that causes uh, bitter and pungent taste, attendance, the uh, appetite and digestion can be given. The drinks we prefer include Yava, Kura Dusha, Shali, Pirata, vegetables like Punarlava, Patola, Gokshira, Garna, Karavilla, Varshabu, Adraka, Garlic, Drumsticks are advisable. And Ushna Jara, Anusha, Kora, Sutra, Jala, Tatra. And note that you should exactly tell how, day, how many days you have to follow this Pratya. Okay, fine. Next is Pratya Sikta, the quotation is like this. Panti Polena Sansiddham Panyam Bhamuchate Sudhirus Shinna Vatrakam Vatrakum Tata Tita Parani Vastuka Shakam Sarishka Shakam Konaram Gita. So this is exactly the Pratya over here. And Apatya is greasy foods that are very high for digestion and should be avoided. Black gram, Kumko Gita should not be consumed. Okay, they will ask, can I have the fish, can I have meat or uh, you should tell that it should be avoided. The reason behind this is such and such. Okay. When you know the beautiful aspects of Amavata, how exact the Amavata is police and what is the role of Amavata? You can beautifully explain them why you have to you only have to consume this, okay? Consumption of milk and that is also not advisable. Combination of foods that is integrate the body and means consumption of healthy and unhealthy foods together and incomplete foods complicate. External means of external agents is very important. Sleeping awake and at night are not good for the patients of Amavata. So, in each of the ARD physician, we should start treatment and we have to treat the Pratyas and Apatitas. Okay. And we have some of the Shman of Shubis. No doubt, but it is Punarala Mandura, Sinhala Dhamukuru, Yoga Rajukuru, Rasana Punda, Yoga Rajukuru, and Apache Tatarati. And in Kashaya, Panchamra Tatarasa. And Chuna is Vishwana Chuna, Shruti Chuna, Jibadi Chuna, and all. And you can go for Arishtas, Amrit Arishtas, Sudarshan Arishtas, and all. So these all are the uh, some of the Shaman of Chuna, which I can explain to you. These are very much important. 
And uh, rheumatoid arthritis treatment, you know what is the primary treatment of a patient who is suffering from rheumatoid arthritis? There is remission of illness, reduction of the discomfort, remission of the deformities, and improving the functional health and the quality of life. Most students, you have to take care of the quality of the life of the patient who is suffering from Amavata. It is very much important to keep you have to enhance the feelings for 8 years or 9 years. You should try to enhance the quality of the way it is. Okay? It's very important for you to improve the functional and the quality of life. What are the four categories which is given in modern medicine? You give analgesic, the spread fat to the pain. And inflammatory causes of the disease, which is controlled by NSAIDs. This is activity of various suppressed by disease monitors. And autoimmune of 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 pathology of disease is controlled by immunomodulators. So these are the four categories of the treatment which is given by modern medicines. Okay. So root and arthritis with the present NSAIDs are the main strain in this condition. So immunosuppressive drugs are reserved for selected cases. While disease modifying drugs like those also are costly and have a low medical risk. So there is a need for the drugs which is having good efficacy with low toxic profile in this regulatory disorder. And we as a medical physicians can really work on the students. Okay. It is your duty to uh, do a lot of research works in case of this Amavata and you should exactly understand uh, what is the symptom that of this disease, how exactly the patient is being affected for this motor arthritis. You have to work a lot on this. Okay, right? So this is my logic variant selection of prescription treatment of Amavata. I have completed uh, some of the aspects. Okay, you can add upon this, you can go for the mini referral of the of the this of the disease Amavata. You will get lot many references about the disease and a lot many works can be uh, you can go on it. Okay. By this point, my two of my works which I have done it in uh, uh, Amavata under the guidance of Dr. Nishimura and this is a summary of my pres uh, presentation today. Analytic prescription in treatment of Amavata is effective in remission of symptoms. So definitely it improves the quality of the life. The combined effect of the treatment is most beneficial. Resign and may be more effective. Long course of the treatment may be effective. Now what I wanted to tell to the students, when you treat the patient who is suffering from Amavata, you will be the most happiest person. Okay? When you see day by day the quality of the life of the person who is a patient who is suffering from Amavata, he is being improved day by day. You will be the happiest person to understand. See if the patient is suffering from swelling or pain or stiffness. If the patient is being relieved by these symptoms, you will be very happy to know that. Okay? And these are my uh, this is okay. Some of them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it was a very beautifully explained presentation. And uh, we were uh, like never heard some prapti ghatakas in that much detail before about Amavata. It was very, very well explained. So students, any doubts are there if you want to ask? Students and other, if you want to ask any doubts? Ishita? And I thank all my students, all the students of National Library College, and I thank Dr. Pavita for inviting uh, me for this presentation, and also the principal, and giving me such a wonderful platform to uh, speak my uh, experience in case of this uh, arm of the way over this. Ma'am, it was a very informative session, and uh, we will be very happy to hear you again, and we definitely want to hear your uh, a clinical experience in uh, other topics also and we are very thankful ma'am thank you so much thank you ma'am students Thanks. any doubts it's your last chance to ask Why not? Why not? yes sir yeah. speak yeah actually i want to ask whether uh, can you give some suggestions which type of bubbles i use with our water so yeah, yeah, because we uh, in my practice I mostly use uh, Simhanada Gula also and also I go for this yoga and preparations 
and uh, we get a wonderful effect in that uh, yoga guru. And uh, there was a lot many studies in Amavata which has been done in that of Namako Google also. Uh, we have, when we come to that of Namako Google, we also have a very beneficial effect. Uh, Ma'am, there is one doubt that so many people are using uh, gold preparations in Google in the initial stage only. What is your opinion about that? Some patients who consume it, uh, they have got a very, uh, the patient who comes to me with the feeling that uh, they have got a good effect also. And some researchers are going on that, it's still to work on this. Whether they should start in the initial stage or after some time. So the, what I wanted to tell that uh, you have to take, you have to see that the condition is. Okay. If the patient is suffering from many years of this disease, if you have to different type of the chronicity and the severity of the disease, you have to identify. If the severity of the disease is prolonged, if it is chronic, single chronicity, then you should come on us up. You can just try for that. Any others? Any doubts? Okay, thank you ma'am. Our session is going to be over. The 60 minutes are going to complete. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. That's for I hope I won't rush into the topic. No ma'am, it was... And doctor, it was, and thank you. It was very beautifully doctor, explained. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you. And thank you, thank you for the management. And... Uh, principal for giving me this opportunity and also thank you to Ms. Jens who have been here for this. Thank you.